back in, uh, in 92, we really had a very difficult time finding a building. And I felt like it, the school really needed to be in Providence, but we were willing to look uh, you know, elsewhere, as long as it was in, a, in an area where there was uh, a great need you know, financially. When we finally came up with a suitable building in the Elmwood section of Providence, off Elmwood Avenue, St. Paul's Lutheran Day School, a couple of pieces of nostalgia. One of them would just be the people at St. Paul's realized that we had very little money, and I don't know if we could have made it through the first, you know, beyond the first couple of years if they hadn't given us the building rent-free. Being in that building was such a blessing, really. There were so many wonderful things that came about as a result of it. The staff was me and two Lasallian volunteers. They were remarkable teachers. So we had a little bit of stability that first year. Well, you've got an idea, you just kind of assume that everybody else is just gonna jump on the bandwagon and that's not really the case, right? So many people are not gonna give money unless you've been around for three or four years. And the only way you can be around for three or four years is if people give you money. So it's like, um, you know, it's kind of a, a, a crazy scenario, I guess. Right from the get-go, we were trying to create a school that was going to have some fairly bright kids, motivated, some kids that really struggled academically and maybe were behavior problems, and then there's that middle group that could go either way. You know, if they have the right motivation, they can end up being stars. In so many places, the focus is on what kids are doing wrong and how they can correct it. At San Miguel, it was trying to offer kids an opportunity to do things in a good way, to be good, to help each other. And the whole purpose of San Miguel was to really provide a quality, values-based education to families who can't afford a private school education. I used to love to say, you know, we're not a traditional Catholic school. We were located in a Lutheran church. The first grant that we ever got in terms of money was from the Episcopal Diocese. And uh, one of our board chairs was Jewish. You know, it was like, Without being officially ecumenical, we were basically ecumenical. You know, there were so many different people involved in the, not just the startup of San Miguel, but, you know, uh, helping to continue what the Providence Journal once said, the miracle on Carter Street. The last day that we were in school on Carter Street, we had what we called a blessing ceremony, where we walked through the building and we said a prayer and we shared some um, stories of things that happened in a classroom, the cafeteria, the library, the schoolyard. And the funny thing is, it was such a beautiful day. The sun was shining. We got to a point where we were in the hallway right by the outside, and it started to rain. And I remember the kid, Orlando, said, so everybody could hear, he said, that's God crying because we're leaving. I'm kind of getting choked up right now when I think about it, you know? It was a simple little rainstorm that lasted for like 10 minutes. But it was like this kid said, it's God crying because we're leaving Carter Street. Oh, that's still, uh, I don't know, I still get verklumped when I, when I hear that. Yeah.